3D mammography, also known as digital breast tomosynthesis, is one of the most significant advancements in breast cancer screening since digital mammography. Why is this important to you? We feel it is important to share this information because all patients at Hackensack University Breast Wellness Center receive 3D screening mammograms. Prior to this service being available at our facility, a conventional 2D digital mammogram was offered, which consists of taking two images of each breast, one from the side and another from the top. Images were taken by compressing the breast between two plates. Compression is important because it helps to lower the radiation dose, prevent movement, which causes a blurry image, and reduce overlapping of breast tissue. Our 3D mammograms use the same low-dose x-rays and compression. However, instead of being stationary, the x-ray tube moves in an arc over the breast and scans the breast from multiple angles. Each scan takes about four seconds. The images can then be reconstructed at one millimeter thick slices, which allows the radiologist to see through the breast, similar to a CAT scan. There are two major advantages of 3D mammography over 2D mammography. First, there is improved cancer detection. The technology is still new and more long-term studies are needed, but preliminary studies show that 3D mammography helps to find more cancers than 2D mammography, and the cancers that are detected are smaller in size with less likelihood of lymph node involvement. The second advantage of 3D mammography is that fewer screening mammograms are reported as abnormal. This is referred to as a recall or callback rate. Many abnormalities that are reported are merely due to overlapping breast tissue. With 3D mammography, fewer patients are asked to return for additional imaging as a result of overlapping breast tissue. At our wellness site, all our screening patients get a 3D mammogram regardless of age, breast density, or risk factors because we believe everyone should benefit from this technology.